In this video, it will be discussing the life and accomplishments of Margaret Floyd Washburn. Margaret Floyd Washburn was born on July 25, 1871, in New York City. Her parents were Frances and Elizabeth Floyd Washburn. Margaret loved to read as a young child, which helped inspire her fascination with learning and education in her school career. Margaret was enrolled in school at a young age, where she excelled. She continued to be a very talented student and entered high school at the age of only 12 and graduated at 15. Margaret Washburn's fascination with learning, coupled with her fast path through her education, showed her dedication for knowledge and new ideas. Washburn's post-secondary career began at Vassar College, where she discovered her interest in the sciences, namely psychology, but she also remained interested in philosophy. Once she graduated from Vassar in 1891, she moved on to Columbia, where she studied under James McKean Cattell. Although Margaret was intelligent, she was still subject to discrimination, as she was unable to be classified as a student. Instead, she was a hearer. Cattell, though, saw her potential despite the rules of the school and treated Margaret as a student anyway. After her time with Cattell, she moved on to Cornell, where she was Edward Titchener's first graduate student. Being a grad student here allowed her to get hands-on experience in psychology from a notable psychologist to learn from. In 1894, she was able to receive her PhD and become the first female to receive a doctorate in the field of psychology. Washburn wasn't only famous because she was the first female psychologist. Margaret was also a renowned researcher and also published many texts. One of Washburn's most prolific publications was her book, The Animal Mind. In it, she discusses a field of psychology that wasn't talked about much at the time, which was animal psychology. In it, she discusses how we don't know where consciousness begins in the animal world. In the era of behaviorism, looking into a being's mental state wasn't widely accepted. Margaret Washburn turned away from that to look into the consciousness of the animals. She didn't want to focus just on observing the animals, but also to look at their mental processes as well. She believed that animals' behavior, like humans, can be also unconscious. Since its original publication, The Animal Mind has since had different versions published and has become an important part of the field of psychology. Washburn also got into motor processes and developed a motor theory of consciousness. She wrote Movement and Mental Imagery, which discusses how we anticipate certain movements internally and how our muscles contract to help anticipate that movement. This look at human consciousness is another example of how Washburn looked at different methods of for experimentation. In conclusion, Margaret Floyd Washburn is a trailblazer in not just the field of psychology, but in science and society as a whole. She was an individual who broke away from societal norms and focused on what she saw most important in life, science and learning new things. She accomplished many things, including being the second female to become the president of the APA, as well as advancing the field of animal psychology.